we are at the Hereford Courtyard and we are working on a project called No Pride in Prejudice. The main themes um, are basically disabilities and how people cope with them and overcome them. It's exploring prejudice and people's views on it and whether there are a lot of prejudiced people in Hereford. I'm hoping to interview different people and see what their views on prejudice is and what they think it is. This is our first time of doing it and it's going to go on for six weeks. It's going to become, I'm not overly sure on, but, um, but I'm sure we'll get a, a lot a lot out, out of it. At the moment I'm not sure what to expect but I'm looking forward to actually performing it. The project that we're working on is No Pride in Prejudice. We're working with Hereford College of Arts and their first year students as well as 12 people that have either got a learning difficulty or a physical disability. Uh, the, the aim is to integrate the two groups to create a performance around different prejudices. We wanted to create an edgy, possibly controversial project that would look at Herefordshire society's attitude towards all sorts of prejudices without pinpointing disability but just really looking at everything from migrant workers to attitudes towards homosexuality and then coming right back to disability as well. The end performance is important because it gives us a goal but for me the quality of the work is very much in the collaborative process rather than the end result. It's been fantastic to see the two groups merge because there were a, there was a lot of apprehension within both groups but over the time that we've been working together we've really gelled the two groups and, and it's very much a good feeling of a company at the moment. So today we're in Hereford, we're in High Town, and we are interviewing people for our project No Pride in Prejudice and asking them questions about prejudice and their views on different things such as um, homosexuality and immigrants. Quite a lot of people think there are a lot of ethnic minorities across the whole of the UK that they're more than 50% even, some people have said. We found that usually the older people um, have a lot more to say, especially about um, immigrant workers. Um, it varies from don't really have an opinion to um, as long as it's fair on everyone else. We're using verbatim theatre, which the definition of it is word for word. So we will we interview people on their views of different things, and then we repeat it on the stage, um, and we say it how they say it, and also do their body language. What I really like about verbatim theatre is that you don't have to write a script, and all the students need to stick to phone. Um, bring a dictaphone along, ask some structured, possibly leading questions and get some good responses and then so that's the first technique and from that we're taking those opinions back to the drama studio and the dance studio and we're creating a devised piece around those opinions and the responses that we're getting. So we're at week four of the No Pride in Prejudice project, so the students have been working with us for the last five weeks to devise tableaus around uh, different themes, different prejudices. Uh, in week two of the project we went into Hereford City Centre and asked people on the streets different questions and have used their responses as our stimulus, so it's been very much about refining those uh, for the final performance, which is next week. Today we're going through our... Um, our devised pieces which we're doing, which both groups, the college group and um, the other group are doing, we're, we're working together to um, create a um, piece that's um, relevant with um, some quotes we've got from people in town and we've been um, mainly focusing on um, ways in which we can symbolise different forms of discrimination through theatre. How do you feel about sex changes? <laughs> oh, no, pretty nasty. I don't think it should be done. We're doing our, our tableaus, we do now. And we're kind of um, improving on it and making the transitions better and improving the overall. For the art college group have worked on their, their own device pieces which have done within their time at college and we'll be performing both of these um, on 
on Friday, but we'll have, have an intensive week next week where we'll be putting this all together. We're doing like sketches, which some of them are like turned on their head, so they're kind of making it funny. So, um, we're like, for instance, I did a sketch where they're like all, all old people. But because normally you stereotype old people as, oh yeah, we don't like all those homosexuals and stuff like that because of their generation, whereas we're like really liking it. Comedy seemed a natural way to work because um, it's a way of examining quite heavy issues in a light-hearted way. And I think the juxtaposition of the comedy with the, um, with the quite serious subject matter gave the audience quite, um, quite a lot of food for thought when it came to the issues that we wanted them to, to be thinking about. What's been the best thing today? Singing. You like the singing? I like the singing. What are you most looking forward to about the show? Oh, so uh, singing and dancing. Yeah. With cool moves. I really did think it was an eye-opener for a lot of people. It was um, absolutely amazing. It, it really helped me think about what was going on, and, you know, but it was really, really funny. I loved it. And it took a lot of hard work for those guys to do that as good as they did it. Very moving, and I love the songs. I just love the whole thing. But it's going to be hard with it because I'd never been in a position with people that have dis disabilities before and I think everyone felt the same but after a week or so here we all got to know each other and it's been really fun and it's been really really good. One parent just summed it up for me right at the end and said that in the theatre we've treated their son as an individual. We haven't spoken to him as if he has a disability and for, from my perspective I'm really pleased that the parents have picked up on that because we created a company, it wasn't, we weren't doing a disability arts project, we were doing an arts project in which everyone was an equal member. And I'm really pleased that, that parents have picked up on that and that we have actually done what we set out to achieve. The participants in the project were definitely on a high at the end. There was lots of cheering, lots of whooping, uh, trying to speak over the top of them was quite tricky, so I'm guessing they had a good time. They were certainly uh, smiling, lots of laughter. There was, a, there was definitely an air of sadness that it was over. Um, but we forged such a strong relationship that I really hope that we'll be able to continue that into the future.